The Quality Performance Planning and Programmes team have responsibility for quality improvement and service redesign. They also have oversight of corporate performance management, so that helps the board and the senior team be assured around our corporate performance and supports performance measurement. We also support corporate and strategic planning, and we oversee all of the strategic programmes and the infrastructure that supports that. And the team has four strategic leads, each with responsibility for these key areas within the department. My responsibilities mainly involve strategic oversight of each of the key areas of the department. So that's assuring that we are able to carry out effective and robust performance assurance through the use of producing documents such as the integrated performance report and a range of performance and improvement dashboards. Also, I'm responsible for leading on large pieces of strategic planning, mostly focused on those that will be required for Scottish Government or for our board. This might involve major business cases or major planning documents. And in addition to that, I'm responsible for overseeing the development of our programme management framework and ensuring that this delivers against the board strategy, as well as the ongoing review and refresh of our, of our current board strategy. And in addition to that, I provide strategic leadership for our quality improvement and service redesign functions that are relatively new to the board. Our main responsibility is to provide a responsive service to the hospital, which supports Golden Jubilee's performance management framework. That involves setting of standards, measurement of indicators and reporting progress, which is probably the main part of that. Taking a lot of data and collating and interpreting that data and then displaying the results to a, a broader audience within the hospital. If you see a lot of charts or tables or something that demonstrates Gold Jubilee performance, there's a good possibility the performance team has had a hand in that. The main responsibilities within my role are providing strategic leadership for our planning function. So this includes your core corporate planning and strategy development at board level. So that's the annual operational plan, workforce and finance plans, new mobilisation plans and such like. But also working with our local operational and clinical teams to help plan and implement their own strategies at a local level also provide professional leadership and quality assurance for planning throughout the board. Quite often the role involves responding at pace to time critical asks from our own executive team, Scottish Government and other boards. So a big part of my day involves checking the inbox, looking at any urgent requests that have come in, prioritising those that need to be dealt with quickly, but also progressing some of our own local projects within the planning function. And quite often this also involves checking in with more junior members of the team and offering support with their own respective projects and tasks. The main responsibilities really is to provide strategic leadership for quality improvement across the organisation. So that is focusing on prioritisation, making sure that we you know what it is are our main goals and that we're directing the appropriate resources to achieving those goals and also supporting to make sure that we're using the right tools and methodology in order to, to achieve our objectives as best we can. I also have a role in providing operational support for improvement, so working with teams directly on the ground to review their processes and also help them to support changes in those processes to make sure that we're achieving what we need to. The other bit I do quite a lot of is uh, coaching or teaching individuals, so that could be, again, could be in their workspace if that's what's, what's necessary or it could be just meetings uh, via Teams or face-to-face, -face, talk to people through projects that they're running or problems that they're coming up against in their day-to-day -day work and actually trying to help coach them through into what we would do to, to improve that. And collecting quite a bit of data, so often that can be, if I was in a, an outpatient clinic, for example, that might be timing, actually how long does it take for from the patient to check in to get to the waiting area, how long are they in the waiting area, when they go into the first stage of the clinic process, how long does that take, how, how many different options are there for that. So I spend quite a bit of time working with individual teams to understand their process and also to look at the, the variation that's inherent within that process. So no two outpatient appointments are identical. We need to try and understand what we can do when we're building our services. I support and develop key strategic programmes and projects firstly and then secondly I provide uh, expertise and best practice 
um, across the project program portfolio functions within the organisation. So for example, um, look at our approach to reporting, scheduling, risk management, options, etc, etc. And then thirdly, developing our project management maturity across our, the key three areas uh, around processes, people uh, and, and systems. A lot of it is around reviewing reports, guidance documents, providing feedback, speaking to colleagues, hosting workshops and a lot of these meetings, you know, are their project meetings or they could be meetings with around governance with senior management and executives. I have a dual role within the organisation focusing on mainstreaming equalities and service improvement work. However, both aspects of my role are very much interrelated. Under the Equalities umbrella, I'm responsible for ensuring that the board meets its statutory legislative requirements under the Public Sector Equality Duty to create a welcoming, inclusive and accessible environment for our patients, service users, staff and volunteers. I'm also responsible for managing and delivering the board's agreed set of equality outcomes, which run on a four-year life cycle, in addition to delivering in-house mandatory diversity training. The service design aspect of my role focuses on the design of accessible environments and inclusive patient pathways to achieve best practice and beyond. This means I could be writing reports and papers, undertaking equality impact assessments, delivering in-house diversity training, stakeholder engagement with patients, public and third sector organisations, presentations to senior management and general day-to-day -day inquiries. At a, a department level, we've had to be very agile in the way that we work. The pandemic has meant that we've needed to change our reporting, so this has meant developing daily weekly and monthly reports that were new and these are regularly looked at within Golden Jubilee and by Scottish Government. We've also had to change our planning approach to respond to pressures in other NHS boards where Golden Jubilee has taken on new specialties and treated patients who are urgent or priority. So my role has been about shaping these plans to describe how we're responding to the pandemic and making sure that NHS Golden Jubilee can make the fullest contribution to supporting the recovery. We've had to adapt to Agile working in the first instance where the team are working at home some of the time and using a rota to protect their safety so that not everybody was working in the same space together. As the pandemic has progressed with the Omicron variant, we've actually largely shifted the team completely off site to protect them and their families from the increased case rates. And this presents some unique challenges to the team and we're trying very hard to make sure that we keep connected through formal one-to-ones, but also things like virtual catch-ups, virtual cuppas, to make sure that the team feel supported and able to work together effectively. I had to quickly adapt my working style and get to grips with new technologies and systems, as well as generating new course content and delivery methods for in-house training. It's also been difficult to undertake stakeholder engagement activities, given the introduction of social distancing restrictions, and the inability to meet people in the traditional way. Ideally, you want to hold workshops uh, and project meetings and catch-ups face-to-face, and doing them online uh, is a very different dynamic. But I think as we become used to working remotely and working using technology, people become accustomed to that. So that's kind of eased over the past few months. As the priorities have changed slightly, so what we need to be trying to focus on from a QI perspective is, is really building capacity, We're trying to build capacity, trying to maintain capacity in the context of social distancing, in the context of the changes to process that we've had to implement because of COVID. Actually, how do we try and offset some of that? My favourite project so far would have to be the work that I've undertaken within the Phase 1 Eye Centre, specifically around the wayfinding strategy, the enhanced accessibility self-check-in kiosks, and the welcome app for disabled service users. A real highlight for me in my time with the Jubilee was the work that I was involved in with the NHS Scotland Academy. I was involved working with colleagues in both boards to really pull together the initial business case that ultimately led to the academy being established. We had to do so in the middle of a pandemic to really tight timescales and for me we all pulled together and it was a really great team effort. The team has grown a fair amount over the last few years so the main priority is to consolidate and fully embed these new roles within the organisation and in addition to that as NHS Scotland recovers from the pandemic the team will be very much involved around service improvement, service redesign and planning new developments for NHS Golden Jubilee. Ultimately, you know, my job is improvement, it's about making things 
better and with most people that have joined the health service actually it's all about everyone wants to make a difference everyone wants to make people's lives better and that's the bit that i feel like i do get from my my role the aspect i like best about it is using the kind of technical skills that i have in computing and in data analysis to develop and improve processes which make it easier for some of my colleagues to work more effectively. I love my role because it's so dynamic and no two days are the same. I also love the fact that I play a central role in making the hospital an inclusive and welcoming space for everyone regardless of personal circumstance. I've been with the board for almost 20 years, um, so I'm very proud of Golden Jubilee um, and I'm very committed to continuing to make it a success.